I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What? Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears... Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. I'm not immersed. I think that was supposed to immerse me. I'm not immersed. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. Dude, is this a reading game? I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, ETC. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself and with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and I like traveling. I said a few goodbyes and off to new location and about a two hour drive. Yeah, here we go. W-A-S-D to drive. I'm going right off the road. Should have taken it easy. I'm writing the story as we go. Each episode is based on a true IRL human story of someone's experiences. Oh, that's what that meant. So someone was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom, one of the previous episodes, and sent them this story, and that's what this whole thing is based off of. In the story, he drove off the road and got stuck on a hill, apparently. I have a scary story. One time, I was driving home, and it was late at night, and everything was closed, and I had to shit really bad, and I shit my pants. Make a game out of it, please, Fears to Fathom developers. I'm not doing that again. Getting back on the road. Fuck. I should have taken it easy. I agree. Uh, driving well now. Nice camper. Press escape to read messages. Ah oh, shit, we're texting and driving. Can't do that. I can't read this. What am I supposed to be looking at? I gotta read all these? Suck my wiener. I wondered if I could have ran that over. Find an Easter egg to the game. Why is this closed? The hill is closed to drive on. They really needed a barricade for that. <laughs> what was that? I thought we were finding an Easter egg there. Why are we hitting? This I wasn't very proud of my driving. No, I wouldn't be either. I've always loved the great outdoors. Do you think those text messages were important? Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Blah, blah, blah. Speaking of change, yeah, Ironbrook, call me. With that, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Isn't it late? Did you post? I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They had the best burgers in town. You had to try them out. Oh, this must be Roseburg. Where's the diner? Oh, lag. Is that the diner? Skirt! Nice parking job. I'm trying to get a cheeseburger. Wait! Car! Ah, oh, damn it. Here's another car. Hmm. I am living in the Matrix. Oh, there's the diner Kayla was talking about. Please leave me alone. Why do you... He doesn't open his eyes to talk to me. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Not too bad. I'm not too bad. Feel free to take any uh, seat you'd like, and I'll be right back with you. 
Or I'd like to sit with this man right here. How's the food? Do you mind if I join you? Pretty long day at work, huh? No, I want to join you. He just stared at me. Mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Okay, pretty long day at work. He just stared at me. How's the food? He just stared at me. Okay, no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. I'll find someone to sit with. Oh, this guy. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? Headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? Uh, I'm a staffer. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. What? I need to go. Uh, setting up the spooky story. You look a little lost. This guy looks happy. I'm just passing through. Starting my job. What do you do? Work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Do you like your job? We're about to go on a date with this man. Could you point me to the restroom? It's right over there. Thank you. Yes. Need to use the potty. <laughs> we actually are using the potty. I wonder how this will impact the gameplay. If I if I go at it backwards, do I poop? No. You coming to take my order? Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Well, that's a combination. I like chicken nuggets, but I don't like meatball sub. I like onion rings, but I'm not the biggest grilled cheese fan. I'd rather have a cheeseburger. Ooh, I want a large Coke. Um, that will be all, thank you. That's it, no. I'll be polite. Great. If you walked in not slow motion, it'd be here even quicker. Ooh, excuse me. I burped before even eating. I do not like these eating noises. Figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Stop, dude. I don't like this. I don't like it. My total is $6. Ooh, six dollars and fifteen percent tip. I'm kind of a fat tipper. I'm not gonna lie. You're welcome. A whole three dollars. You must have heard the news then. A few weeks ago, these three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or the Goat Man. I've never heard of the Goat Man. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. I, I, I don't know how to feel about those eating noises. It makes me... I'm honestly salivating a bit from it. But at the same time, I'm also disgusted by it. It's like whenever I watch pimple popping videos, for some reason they make me salivate a lot. But I don't think, like, it's not like I want to eat them, but it's, it, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I think there's something wrong with me. Gotta teach everyone on the road a lesson. I drove my RV onto the foot trail. I remember Mitch saying I was going to be on foot from here. Suppose that means it's time to get out. The music of the RV makes this game a lot less scary. <laughs> My word. Holy moly, holy moly. You scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May the Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? 
I'm the new transferred fire lookout. I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Oh my god, dude. I'm shutting this door. Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Take keys. Damn. I have to walk. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. I left my bag in the RV at first. Guess that's my cue to go back to the RV and get my bag. Was this my tower or no? Must not be. I have a key. Where did my bag just go? I think I lost my bag. Is this my tower though? Do I open this? How do I use the key? Oh boy. That isn't my tower. Is that bag important? I hope not. Tower 11. This way. Ah, that's probably my tower. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. We live in it? Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Utility shack. At least we get a nice porter, John. Um, what's with the microphone? I gotta pee. I gotta tinkle. My riveting horror story starts with going to the bathroom at every toilet. Why? Why was it, why was it listening to me in the bathroom? Lights out after 12 p.m. Well, 12 p.m. would be noon. So that's odd. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. System password is iron bark. What is this? Bug spray? I think that's like, oh no, that's bear spray. It's not a lighter. Oh, I light it. Pasta. Microwave. Fridge. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm hard as a rock. How do you light a fire? Oh, matches. That's probably it. Oop. <laughs> That's not how you use them. Then I think we probably add some gas to it. No. Okay, let's try this again. What happens if I throw it on the... That was quick. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No, Connor, Jesus. You've been bothering me the whole time. Not sure why that gas won't light. Now I have gas on my floor. Report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Right. Right. I need to get I need to get the the damn stuff. 46.6 19 knots. Condition? Wind. Number of hikers assisted? Zero. Get out of here. Ported by your mom. I wasn't sure if I put in the right weather condition. Cloud. I wasn't sure. Clear. There it is. You copy, new guy? Right here. Ooh, I think he likes me. I had to pee. No, you don't. 
Where where did I put the flashlight at? There it is. Static. Connor? Yeah, we don't gotta pee that bad. We can go pee in the morning. Night two. Okay. I gotta go investigate this fire with some bear spray. Bear spray, do you think I need a flashlight? I'm not gonna be out that long. I'll just bring the bear spray. I'll shut my door. The door was open. We're really concerned about taking a piss in the woods with the door open. What kind of man are we? We're not a man. Bears. Caution, bears in area. No. How is it suddenly 8.30? No, 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 I'm going back. I couldn't just, oh, come on. We set off at like eight in the morning and then we, we walk seven feet from our, our tower and it's 8.37 p.m. Oh, I, I hate you right now, game. 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 I hate you right now. God bless America. I don't like the music. I don't like the the anxiety inducing sounds that happen. I heart Jen, no camping. She gives the best head. Uh, then we have some dead people. But there's may or may not be Jen here who gives really good head. Jen. God damn, it's like my mom texted me. What is this? An EMF reader? Oh, thank God. No, I can't I can't get that flashlight. Think I can go home now? Right? What does this say? Closest tower is tower eleven. I agree. Time to go home. Oh, Jesus. I thought I heard something behind me. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce. I'm hungry. Uh, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Place all the ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. Fuck me. Baked beans. Baked beans. Whatever. Mozzarella. This has got to be part of it. Yep. And diced tomatoes. Sliced ham. No, I don't think that's it. No, I don't think that's it. Eggs, no. Milk, no. no. That's not it. Coke, no. Are tomatoes in the fridge? Where do you keep tomatoes? Diced tomatoes, yep. All our food is gonna go bad now. Oh no, we get to listen to more eating. This game is so strange. I feel like I've been playing it forever, and yet nothing has really happened. Okay, we're sleeping. Oh boy, waking up at 2.27 a.m., that's not good. I think we should just go back to sleep. 
I think we should just sleep through it. What is that? See that shadow right there? I don't want to get up. 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 I see it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I, I don't have to whisper right now. I'm not hiding. But it's right there. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Times two. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Yep, time to go to bed. I had to talk to Connor. Connor didn't make any sense. I don't know. That actually seemed pretty sensical. There's not much else I could have done in the dark. I agree. Time to go to bed with bear spray in one hand and a flashlight in the other. Night three. Is this like five nights at Freddy's or five nights? Next day I woke up not being sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Oh! Right tonight again! That's not my favorite thing in the world. I'm assuming we're supposed to call Connor about that. Hello? Is anyone there? Who is this? I, I need help! Oh boy. Please, someone answer. Shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. I don't know what to tell you, brother. I'm in my cabin. It's about bedtime. I'm not doing it. Uh, what direction are you facing right now? Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank are you sure it's not west? See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Oh boy. I'm at the trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left trail to get back to the trailhead. Um... What are these sounds? Where where is he? This doesn't sound good whatever's happening right now by the way. I have no idea. He passed a creek. Uh, hello? Shit. Uh, are, are... I don't know. Left. The answer is always left. Yes. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. There we go. I'm right here. Uh. I hear you. <gasps> uh. I hear your whistles. Oh boy. What? What? I see you behind the trees. To my, you're freaking me out. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps bad. Where's the bear spray? Oh, it's just it's just Farmer John. Holy moly. Ho holy moly. What took you so long to get here? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? Uh, I was assisting a lost hiker. Just finishing up on report. Nothing much. Uh, nothing much. 
Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for any more. I was about to bear spray you, dude. We're just dot dot dotting? What were you doing here last night? What were you doing where? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around up there. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would lo love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge about everything. Just getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't s dwell. I thought it said smell. S dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can do anything without the evidence. Why didn't I take a picture of it? Do I have anything to take a picture with? Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. What's for dinner, Puff Mama? What's for dinner tonight, Puff Mama? Eating in the bed, our lasagna? The food was cold. Can't eat cold lasagna. I can't believe... I think this will start a fire. Time to go get my wood, I'm assuming. The wind keeps on getting more and more aggressive. You just gave me a heart attack. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. My name's can be Seaving. Call me Silas. Yellow? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message keep reach the right places, wouldn't you agree? Uh Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of clean cleansing. Wait for the land to purify itself. Uh, it's getting late. I'll see you around. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. This guy gave out the creepiest vibes. I want to see where he goes. I can't. I can't follow him. In there. Don't tell me you're not you're in not. there. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Why would I not be? Copy now. Right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The maintenance guy doing that nearby radio tower. Ah, that's nice. Closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. It was repaired bidding according to park guidelines. Well, that didn't stop him. Get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. How do I take photos? Everyone wants a photo of shit, and I'm not taking photo of shit. Things are shut. Light goes off. Light back on. Where's my flashlight? 
Bear mace. No. Where is my bear mace? Bear mace. And now I go to bed. And now I wait to see what happens probably in middle of the night. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just going to change. It was just a change in environment I'm getting used to. The strangeness I've seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Oh boy. 9.18 p.m. I gotta put fuel in the generator. In the rain. In the middle of the night. I'm not going to be scared. I'm just going to be efficient. Here's what I'm going to do. Keep the bear mace right there. Any gas? It was getting cold and I had to pee. I bet I have to get firewood. Oops. I just threw my bear spray. One week later. What? Nothing really happened. Why did that get scary? Time was flying by. Connor's generator is under maintenance, which I had to cover his area for the past two days. Then there were no fires going. Uh, when there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Oh, middle of the night, waking up. That's not good. We got another one. I don't trust Connor. I don't think Connor's real. I know it's How are his lights on if the generator is broken? This game is it has holes in it. How do I take a picture of that? I can't pick up the bear spray. Because it's right there. It's by the computer. And then I can't pick up the binoculars either. I can't pick them up. I can't pick up this. Now I can't even grab my flashlight because it's not on the floor. Oh. There we go. That probably wasn't smart, eh? Flash. Why would you use flash? <laughs> <laughs> I am not getting out of this bed until this song is done. Bouncing. Boobies. 
imagine if I had this set up that my microphone picks up like any sound alerts that you guys do. I'm assuming I can get out now, right? I had to make a run. It's not what I had in mind. Of course, I can't pick up anything except some fucking pepperoni. We'll just bring this. It's like. Dude. That is such a missed opportunity. You know how great that would have been if I was connected to the speaker for that and that just played and he fucking heard me because of it? That's why I was trying to connect that damn speaker. That would have been fucking hilarious. I accidentally clicked into the game. I accidentally clicked into the game and it opened the door. <laughs> I tried. I tried to bear maze him. I wonder if I could do that. No, oh, stupid door. Fuck me. It's bear mace! Bear mace! Bear Mace doesn't do anything. I gotta make sure to make the Porta John. Fuck me! You stupid Porta fucking shitter! Why won't this Porta John work anymore? Okay, I'm just gonna run this time. Yeah, that worked. Thanks, everybody, for the suggestion. It kind of seems like I do run slow and stuff, but I also need. That was quite literally, it was already doing the sound that we were done. And then, pfft. Fuck yeah, I'm hard as a rock. How did that not trigger him? I don't know. Thank you for the tier one, uh. Huh? Huh? You run faster with, 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 uh, no shit in your hands, I'm convinced. There's Bunny Man. I 
There's my RV. He's like on my butt cheeks, so. Fuck. Uh, does that mean I'm dead? Yeah, I think that means I'm dead. He comes through you anywhere. No way, we gotta go all the way back? I thought we hit a save point. I thought we hit a save point when we went. I hate doors in this game because they open the wrong way and push me away. Dude, fuck this game right now. I'm getting actually very irritated by this game. They say a two hour play time, but I'm, I've been here for like 17 hours playing this game now. Stop! Blah, 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 blah. You're seriously annoying the crap out of me. This is no longer... It, it really, really... If you're going to make me redo... If, 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 I feel like that goat in that that, in that, in that meme where, where it's like the cat goes... Huh? And I go... Why would... I mean, why did I bring a fucking flashlight instead of a telescope thing? The... the but, but why, like, as a horror game, the objective is to be scary, not annoying as shit. And that is all this is becoming. Like, why would that not, not be a save point when you get to that point? Where, you know, where you go from over here to over by the, the entrance. Why? This should be a save point right here. This is our save point that isn't. Oh my. As adrenaline kicked in, I dr hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I'd radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. Your knee still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I say. What I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. I hate camping. I've always hated camping. Is that the whole game? That was it? That was it. That game really isn't that scary. Well, that was dumb. I'm done with this game.